Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting update from ADAS 2024, where Naval News has confirmed an interesting development in the Philippine Navy's anti-submarine warfare ASWE capabilities. Thales has officially offered their captors as one variable depth sonar a VDS, for use on several classes of Philippine Navy vessels. Let's dive in to see what this means for the fleet. Thales, a renowned player in the defense industry, has proposed the captors as one variable depth towed array sonar TAS, for the Philippine Navy's HDP's 2200 offshore patrol vessels OPVs, Miguel Malvo class corvettes, and the Jose Rizal class frigates. This offer could potentially enhance the Philippine Navy's ability to detect and track submarines in the region. For those unfamiliar, Captors 1 is the smallest and most cost-effective variant in Thales Captors' family of towed array sonars. Despite its size, it boasts impressive capabilities. Designed specifically for smaller ships, Captors 1 has a maximum detection range of around 30 km, making it a compact yet powerful solution. It can also be fitted on mission module containers, allowing for easy integration and removal, an excellent feature for flexible naval operations. The system is designed to complement the Thales flash dipping sonar already installed on the Philippine Navy's two AW-159 Wildcat ASW helicopters. Together, these systems would form a robust ASW network, enhancing the Navy's ability to detect underwater threats. Interestingly, until now, it was widely believed that the Captors 1 was offered only for the HDP's 2200 OPVs, given the requirements for these ships to have modular, removable sonar systems. But the recent report confirms that Thales is proposing this system for the larger Hoso Rizal class frigates and even the Miguel Malvo class corvettes. Before this news, many had assumed that Thales would offer the Captors 2, a larger, more powerful towed array sonar for these frigates. The Captors 2 strikes a balance between size and performance, making it suitable for medium-sized ships like frigates. In fact, many navies around the world, including Malaysia's, have chosen the Captors 2 for their frigates, such as the smaller Maharaja Leela class. So, why might Thales have proposed the smaller Captors as one for the Hoso Rizal and Miguel Malvo class? The decision likely comes down to flexibility, cost, and the operational requirements of the Philippine Navy. By offering a more compact solution, the Captors as one provides a practical, cost-effective ASW capability suitable for the variety of naval missions these vessels undertake. Regardless of the reasoning, if this offer is accepted, it will be a game-changer for the Philippine Navy, providing a more comprehensive anti-submarine warfare solution across multiple platforms. We'll be keeping an eye on this story as it develops and provide updates on any new information from ADAS 2024. What do you think about Thales' offer? Should the Philippine Navy stick with the smaller, flexible Captors 1, or would they benefit more from the larger, more powerful Captors 2? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.